It's happening again. I get a call and ask if I'm going to Kentucky. Yep, Louisville, Kentucky, February 14th through the 17th at ASTM F24, the Amusement Park Ride Division Conference, where they're going to discuss more of the standards and the insight that we as experts are giving them. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to go. I was in Denver last year in October, and I made my point. I said, braking-related accidents are too high. 15 for every 100,000 was predicted by Granite Insurance. Now, those numbers are up. And if you weren't at the 2020 conference, the virtual conference that the ACCT had, Association for Challenge Course Technology, you would have known if you listened to the insurance talk that there were six to seven accidents per 100,000. The comment that got me that year was that over half were braking related. I'd already started developing passive braking trolleys or friction braking trolleys that are now fail safe. Fail safe trolley? Look at my other videos. But we're here to sell you on a spring system. The safest products on the market. These spring systems last a million cycles is what the manufacturer is telling me. We say 200,000, so 200,000 spring compressions, and you can get those numbers from your patrons and your staff and, and go above and beyond the standard. This is a five to one factor of safety is what we put on it. We say 200,000 springs rated for 1 million, 200,000 cycles, of, but zip lines are lucrative. Park City Mountain Resort, the zip line I built in 2002 that had three braking systems, a fail safe trolley, Big giant thing. You'll see that in one of my other videos. And an array of springs with spacers in between. In fact, now, after me getting back in the industry, I realized there was a Canada company selling those springs. Same springs I put on Park City Mountain Resort. I should have patented that one. I do have a few patents, and I try to help the industry. I'm a zipline expert. I investigate accidents. Inspecting and following the standards and doing your running your zipline correctly you're going to be in a problem. And the reason why I say that is because at the IAPA conference, Disney, Six Flags, Universal Studios, and all these other big players had defense attorneys talking about third-party companies coming in. The plaintiff attorney shows up, now he's got backers, third parties. In fact, these defense attorneys were so concerned because now it's went to hedge funds have jumped in. And I've noticed that on this last few accidents that I started investigating. I noticed they named everybody. They named the zipline trolley company. They named the harness company. They named the manufacturer, the inspector, and the owner. Because they know most aren't following the standards. And so there's many things that you have to follow. Look at my videos. There's training videos that I share with you. But the key thing is, put an emergency brake on your zipline. ACCT has been saying six miles per hour or greater needs an emergency brake. Emergency brake is better defined as a spring system, one that resets itself every time. Like the Park City Mountain Resort zipline. This spring system is not that expensive. It'll last you four years. We rate them at a million cycles, but with a factor of safety of five, we say 200,000 cycles is ideal. Because once you go past our recommendation, you're on your own. But we also will teach you how to do die penetrant tests because I want to make the industry safer. I want to help others who may not be as knowledgeable as me about stopping zipliners. Thanks for watching. I hope you like and subscribe and share this video as often as you can because we're doing the best we can. And right now, the industry's on fire. 15 accidents per 100,000 is up more than double the 2016 numbers. We, we can do better. Thanks for watching. Let me help. My goal is to help every zipline. We've had the solutions for over 20 years. ZipLineBreakingSolutions.com. I have other channels so you can check them out too. Uh, we're working with some big players, American Adventure Park Systems, who licensed one of our patents. You'll see their information there. This spring system now is going to cost you a lot less than getting into a lawsuit because a plaintiff got injured. 
And if your speeds aren't in check and your documentation and your training, you're going to be found gross negligent and you're just going to send the numbers up again. Thanks for watching. Let's stop zipliners together. Because we know you have to. And we stop zipliners. So you don't have to. Thanks for watching.